We're on a quest to find the internet's ultimate burger. Burgers are like lovers. Everyone wants theirs a bit different. Short, <laughs> tall, fat, skinny, covered in bacon. We're going to find the most creative burgers out there and put them to the vote to find the internet's favourite. So join us on this quest and help us find your perfect burger. Hello and welcome to Patty Palace. It's a burger shack. We've got meat towel. No, it's 100% Patty. It's my intro. It's Patty Palace. I'm Mike and I'm Jamie, and today we're talking about cuisine. Yes, and the reason why is because we went to talk to our mate Fleur about burgers, and she blew our minds. When it came to doing research about burgers for our burger quest, we thought we'd find somebody who was fashionable, somebody who was beautiful, somebody who really knew about food. Unfortunately, what we ended up with was Fleur. So predictable, Jamie. And also, we ended up in a sushi restaurant whilst looking for burgers. What well up, Fleur? Fleur, can you explain yourself? Well. Well. <laughs> well. 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 Jamie gave me a ring last week. <laughs> It's so funny. I have your phone number. It's fine. <laughs> you gave it to me. It's okay. It's okay. Um, and he asked me if I could make any burger in the world, what would I make it out of? And naturally, I said sushi. Of because, course. Of course. The obvious answer. Obvious. Yeah. So the first proper game we have to play with you. It's a bit like um, snog marry avoid. This is our version. This is spit, swallow, or seconds. <laughs> Basically, we're going to give you three food ingredients okay and you have to say which one you would spit which one you would swallow you'd enjoy it it'd be mm -hmm. all right yeah. and which one you'd go back for seconds okay okay Let's but hopefully it. from this we can decipher which will go into what your, i like into a burger. Yeah. yeah okay you get it let's go right. marmite peanut butter or gentleman's relish i like all of them well you have to make your mind um i'd spit gentleman's relish swallow peanut butter <laughs> And what was the last one? Second, Marmite. Oh, I, I love so you, Marmite. You, you, you like Marmite in a burger? No, but I wouldn't like peanut butter or gentleman's <laughs> relish in a burger either. Just, just making sure. Okay. Okay. Fresh tuna, squid or cockles? I love all of them. But I'd spit the squid, swallow the cockles, and have seconds of tuna. Ghost chilies, Ooh. caviar, Ooh. or dude eggs? What the hell is a dude egg? I think there are parts of America where they do actually eat testicles. <laughs> and they're called dude eggs. So I'd definitely spit that. You'd spit the dude eggs. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would swallow the ghost chili and have seconds of caviar. So you like it hot. Snake, mm. reindeer, oh. and ostrich. Okay, I would spit the snake. Oh. Eat a snake. It was mm. pretty rotten. Swallow the reindeer and be very sad because after that you've, you've eaten Rudolph, haven't you? And then I would have seconds of the other one, which was ostrich. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. Well, that's helped us somewhat. So we've covered a lot in these questions, but not necessarily the main thing. Why are we doing sushi? Why a sushi burger? Well, what? I really like sushi for a start. It's good stuff. That's evident. Secondly, I had a sushi burger at Umami in LA and it was really, really good, but it wasn't a proper sushi burger. It was basically a normal bun with tuna and ginger and wasabi, but it didn't, it wasn't like properly sushi. It wasn't made of rice. So, so that's my that. challenge to you is to make like the rice as the bun and then have the sushi and it's got to have seaweed oh. in it, all that like Ooh. proper sushi what? burger. Along this sort of lines, this is why you're part. not the cook. <laughs> <laughs> Fleur, thank you so much for coming to see us and putting up with us. We are sorry, <laughs> but at least now we know what you will spit, swallow, and have come back for seconds. Okay. Also, we know what your like most perfect sushi burger would look like. You do. We do. Um, if you've been watching this video for the last couple of minutes and don't know who this is and thinking, who is she? Uh, then this is Fleur, and you should go and check out her channel. But for now, back to the burger shack. Fleur is such a nice person. She Was. probably doesn't like you anymore. Why Two not? weeks in and you've managed to bully both the people we made burgers for. Yes. <laughs> However, what I think you'll find happened was that we got a great, a great brief we did. for a burger that is more outside of the box than anything we've ever done The before. bento box. <laughs> the bento box. And we have created a sushi flurger mm -hmm. and we've put it into a video, a, um, a hashtag beat my burger video, which you can see in the description box down below. This, this is my favourite so far. Yeah, it's a pretty yeah, good absolutely one. Absolutely love it. Actually, so we've done two burgers so far mm -hmm. and we've defined what a burger is and sometimes we've pushed those boundaries maybe a little bit too far. All the time. But also when you're developing recipes, you need to consider Taste, flavour and sensations. Same thing. Is this like a chef rule? Yeah, this is, this, is this is how to develop and tweak and have the confidence to tweak 
recipes. And I'm okay. going to tell you the difference between taste, flavour and sensation. I didn't know that there was a difference. There, there is. Taste, there are only five of them. Mm -hmm. And they're all oral. Basically, in your tongue, you have taste buds and they can only pick up five tastes. Saltiness, sweetness, bitterness, sourness and umami or savouriness. That's okay. it. Five tastes. Okay. However, flavour is when you combine those tastes with the olfactory system, which is basically your smelling. So in your nose, in the back passage between your throat and your nose, all of those combined give you flavours. Citrusy, floral, fruity, fresh, meaty, earthy. They're the flavours. And then, of course, you've got to take all those on board with sensations. Crunchy, oily, greasy, whatever. Okay. So... What would be really handy, Ben, is because I, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm a visual learner. But I, I, I really wish that there was a way that we could have something where I could learn about it, maybe in a more sensual way. Yeah. I, I can always do more sensual. Like this. Yeah, we're not editing We're not going to jump cut this, mate. <laughs> if you could just go and get whatever oh, it is. Oh, that's awkward. It's not fridge cam. Oy. There we go. You put your blindfolds on. Uh -oh. And what I've got for. here is a whole <laughs> array of different ingredients that we're going to put this whole kind of taste, flavour and sensation thing to the test. I hate it when Ben blindfolds me. So Mike, you're up first. I'm ready to learn, Ben. Hold your nose and stick your tongue out. That means we get rid of the olfactory, Ben. All you're left with is taste. Now I'm just going to rub this on your tongue. <laughs> and I need you to tell me, not what it is, but what taste are you getting? Uh, sweet. Sweet, but can you tell me what it is? The, the jam? It's very difficult to tell what it is until you take your finger off your nose, put your tongue in, and just use those olfactory senses, and now you get... Oh, like, um, floral. Floral. Like fruity. Uh, fruity. It is jack. Oh, no. Um, apple. Apple sauce. Apple sauce. So apple sauce. Well, that high five. <laughs> just with taste, all you get is sweet. With the other senses, you get flavour and can identify it. Jamie, one for you as well. Yeah. Same thing. Nose. Pinched. Tongue out. This one's a bit more wet. Uh. What taste are you getting there? Uh, 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 Sharp or sharp. sour. So uh, the yeah. taste is sour. Uh. Finger off your nose, tongue in. Now what's the flavour? Oh, that's very lemony. Very lips, very citrusy. So Ooh, this yeah. is uzu, which we put into uh, Fleur's Burger, a Japanese citrus fruit. Ooh. You can do that with so many more things. This is a brilliant one, basil leaf. Try it at home. Grab yourself a basil leaf, rub it on your tongue with your... Uh, 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 uh. Basil <laughs> has no taste. The, I However, have no as idea soon as you take on. your finger off your nose <laughs> and your tongue in, you get the flavour of basil. <laughs> Are you ready for some sensations? I'm going to give you some sensations. Give me a sensation. Oh, oh what, what are Ben's sensations? Don't swallow it, just try and tell me what sensation you're getting. The same thing you get from eucalyptus or oh. menthol. <laughs> you can spit it back into your shot glass. If you can find it. That is definitely mouthwash. It is definitely mouthwash, oh. but it's the flavour of sort of menthol and mint. Oh. And it gives you a cooling sensation. Yeah, I swallowed some of that. Oh, Jamie, like mouthwash. Yeah. you get this sensation. There we go. Tongue in, enjoy it. That is the sensation of... I hate you. Pain. Chilly. I hate you. <laughs> but it's not a taste and it's not a flavour. I hate you. Really? I feel on my tongue. You can take your blindfolds off now. Good. Whoa. Cranberry juice, very drying. Lots oh. of, lots of Pretty bright. Well, and you spilt that down me. I did do it a little <laughs> bit, but... Did, did you begin to get some sort of difference between taste, flavour and sensation? Yes, definitely. Yes, I've got the sensation of wanting to punch you. <laughs> I can see how, by combining all of these things, you could create the perfect burger. Wow. That's what we were trying to do. It's all about balance. <laughs> and it is all very subjective because everyone has a different experience. So, would you, if you were to create your own burger, would you aim to get all five tastes? A little bit of everything. So you look at Fleur's you burger, you had the crunch of the rice, yeah. but the sweetness of the mirin in the rice, the pickledness, sourness of the cucumber, the freshness of the tuna with the heat and sensation of... <laughs> from wasabi, it was all there. So it's a balance. And it's balancing all those flavours so that yeah. your tongue gets excited. Ah, oh, well, I, I think that's everything from the, um, the patty palace. From the patty palace. What was our takeout <laughs> today? Uh, my takeout is that next time I see Ben sleeping, uh, I'm going to find some chilies mm -hmm. and I'm going to put them in his mouth, nose, eyes, ears and any other orifice I care oh. to. <laughs> you always take it too far. <laughs> nice. Good. Mike? So my takeout for today is I learnt the difference between taste, flavour and sensation and I think I'm going to use all of that to create some amazing burgers. Yes. And my takeout was that a burger doesn't always have to be meat. We did a fish one for Fleur, thank you very much. Wow. Just imagine the possibilities are endless. They are. And what we want you to do next is upload some crazy combinations of flavours, textures, etc. up to Sorted Food using the hashtag Beat my burger! And to Twitter and Instagram. And we're going to use all of that for some inspiration, aren't yeah, we? And we're going to create see those some mental things. Cropping up over the coming weeks as we make more Beat My Burger burgers. Mm. Shut up. That is enough of us. <laughs> Let's have a look at what you've been doing. <laughs> <laughs>